Good morning, everybody. Um, I wanted to, oh, hang on, my turn off flux for now. Um, yeah, so Dolly is big and popular, and I've had this idea for a while where I wanted to make something that'll help you make Dolly prompts. So here we go, Python chatbot. Um, Dolly says, what can I make for you today? I, um, let's see, I want, uh, let's see, render of a space battle. Okay, what kind of space battle? Lots of spaceships. Um, big ones, like capital ships. Um, carriers, that sort of thing. What kind of setting? Um, in space, but over a planet. Like a blue and green Earth-like world. What kind of effects? Um, lots of cannons and explosions. Is there anything else you'd like to include? Um, let's say uh, I want a lens flare um, coming from the sun. Is there anything else you'd like to include? Um, one of the ships is leaking air. Is there anything else you'd like to include? That's kind of like the default, like, okay, just keep thinking. And then when you're done, you say, all done. It says, a large space battle is taking place over a blue and green Earth-like world. There are capital ships, carriers, and other ships involved. There are plenty of, of explosions and cannons. One of the ships is leaking air. There's a lens flare coming from the sun. Okay, so I think this will be okay with, with uh, Dolly. So let's put this in. A little cringe because the content filter might get mad. Okay, so the content filter battle usually is okay. Warrior is okay, but if you say like sword, knife, gun, um, it doesn't like those. It like it cannon is okay, so that's interesting. Ah, oh, look here we go. So I described the space battle. This is a little chaotic. Um, yeah, fascinating. Um, yeah, so that's that's one example. Um, so then we'll do just control C to get out of that CLS and we'll do it again. Um, let's see. I want a stock photo of a baby playing with an iPhone. Okay. What kind of a baby boy, girl, what age, um, toddler girl, um, big blue eyes. What kind of phone an iPhone? Yeah, the latest iPhone. Okay, so we have a toddler girl with big blue eyes playing with an iPhone. What else do you want in the photo? Um, she should be in a grocery store pretending to be an adult. I don't know. <laughs> so we have a toddler girl with big blue eyes in a grocery store. What else do you want in the photo? All done. And so then what it does is it, it reads the whole thing and says, okay, here we go. Um, the toddler girl is in a grocery store playing with an iPhone. She's pretending to be an adult. The phone is the latest iPhone. The background is shelves of the grocery store. Smiling and looking at the phone. Also smiling and the screen is lit up. She's in a blue dress. Okay, it added some stuff. The phone is white and silver. The background is... Uh, yeah, so let's put this in and see what we get. And then um, I'll give you like maybe one or two more examples just because this is fun. Um, and, uh, and then I'll show you how I did it. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Yeah. Background is the shelves. She's playing with the phone. She's shopping. Some of it is a little uncanny valley. Like those eyes are really creepy. Um, but yeah. And then some of the other ones I did. This one was a, a chubby Indian boy. So this worked really well. Look at that cute little face. Look at that squishy face. And he was playing patty cake. Um, so this one, this one did really well. See, chubby Indian boy with black hair and black eyes, 24 months old, playing patty cake, and he's happy. Um, this one was good. Um, image of a baby on a playground um, is running, and there's smiling on his uh, smile on his face. This one was a little unnerving because he's got short, stubby little legs, and that face that that face is a little bit weird. But you can see it. It often does well. Oh, here was a baby playing in a nursery. I don't know why I'm on babies today. Am I pregnant? No. Um, okay. So I've shown you what it can do. Oh, this, this was a good one. This was, uh, the painting is of a seagull flying near the ocean. The ocean is in the background of the sky. 
and the sky is cloudy. The seagull is white and flying alone. The painting should feel calm and peaceful. Look at this. I would hang this up at my beach house, except I don't have a beach house. But this is great. I'll save that. Um, yeah, so basically the whole point here was to create a chatbot that helps you figure out what it is that you're trying to do. Um, so here it is. Here's Dolly Helperbot. So the first thing that I did was I synthesized a whole bunch of conversations, 200, 203 conversations. Now, because this is creative work, um, this will only benefit from having more conversations. There's all kinds of things that this Dolly chatbot cannot do. Um, like if I say, um, I want a still of Darth Vader, it freaks out with Darth Vader and I don't know why. Is there anything you, sp uh, a lightsaber. Okay, it's not freaking out this time. It used to freak out when I tried a uh, red one. All done. Okay, hold my breath. A close-up of Darth Vader holding a red lightsaber. The dark, dark background is dark blue in color. Okay, for whatever reason, sometimes it really freaks out with Darth Vader. Um, anyways, sorry, brief distraction. So, 200, 200 different conversations where I imagine Dolly is conversing with you and it's trying to get, it's, it's asking questions and making suggestions. Um, with more training data, we can have more suggestions because there's lots of creative people out there. Um, so basically what I tried to do was I tried to, um, I had some, uh, where was it? The modifier. So I gave it 25 different scenarios, right? And then I did eight, eight of each scenario um, with a little bit of variation. Um, but obviously there's hundreds of possible different scenarios. Um, and so there's ways that we can do to... Um, to augment this data further. This training data set should be a thousand samples long or longer so that it gets a broad variety of generating what you want. So the second step was um, with those conversations, I generated a bunch of prompts from them. So like uh, the customer wants, and you can see it's kind of messed up. The customer wants an image that is evocative of the journey of the album with the feeling of openness and possibility. The album art should reflect the, gen the genre of folk rock and the customer trusts the artist's vision to create a meaningful and impactful image. So let's put that in because this is one of the ones that it generated for the fine tuning set. So while that's generating, let me show you. So there is the conversations and then the prompts. And so then what I did was I merged the two into a final output. And so what happens is there's the conversation. And then the last thing is the customer says all done in all caps. And that tells it, give me a summary. So the image is a landscape with a warm color palette. The sky is orange with a background of yellow. The sun is setting and there's a warm glow around the edges of the image. Oh, wow. That's a great, that's a great image. Let's put that in. Um, folk rock. Okay. I don't know if this worked, but um, <laughs> in this case, it didn't give us much. So uh, basically, so all the fine tuning samples ultimately look like this. Oh, here, let me zoom in. Sorry. They ultimately look like this so that you can, um, so that it shows the whole progress of the conversation. Now, obviously there are things that like, you know, what if you say like customer, wait, I wasn't done. Um, you know, and also I tried to train it so that it wouldn't do image or sexuality, but like GPT three is super willing to just talk about whatever. Um, so that is out there. Um, oh, look at this. The image is a landscape with a warm color palette. So yeah, this isn't photorealistic, but look at that. Look at that nice um, low, low color. That's great, man. Um, yeah, so the whole point here is that you have a chat bot that will help you come up with prompts. Um, there's a lot more work that can, that can be done, but um, it'll ask all kinds of questions like what is the gender, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, so this took just a couple hours or uh, maybe, yeah, maybe about two hours to do. Um, and it was meant because, so there's a lot of discussion about like how to do stuff. And so, um, you know, I came on here and I was like, what I really want is to see like Dolly studio. Right. And so I, I kind of made a knock up of like, okay, here's the input prompt. And then there should be some drop downs to help you like pick and choose some stuff. But then I was like, what if you have a, um, what if you have a mock-up uh, or a, a chat bot that will uh, help you figure out what the prompt should be? And then it can also talk to you about like why something is not allowed. Like, oh, well, I can't do violence. I can't do sexuality, right? Um, which so, that sometimes works. Um, so let's try something that is certainly going to get, I'm not going to put this in. Um, I want a bloody scene of a murder victim. This should, it should know not to do this. Um, 
Okay, what do you want me to focus on? It's supposed to say I can't do violence. Sometimes it does that. Um, so obviously a little bit of work is going to be needed on adversarial cases. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I did a quick tour of it. Um, the final data is right here in dolly.json-l. Um, so you can do this yourself. You can also augment it further if you want. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of work um, to make some more conversations and some more uh, prompts. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's it. So, well, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. And um, yeah, hope maybe who knows maybe uh, OpenAI will integrate something like this so that we can have a Dolly a fully functional Dolly Studio soon. I know that it's still in beta, so they're working on it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Have a good one.